Chicago. Ordinary cops were losing the battle. The criminal mastermind called Overlord and his super freaks held our city in their terrifying grip. Then a miracle happened. When I found him, he had no memory of his past. I helped him find an identity and a life. Now we have a fighting chance. Now we have the dragon. Chicago. Let me just say what an honor it is to have mayoral candidate John Smith on our show. Thank you. The pleasure's all mine, Herb. Okay, John, let's talk turkey here. Apparently, not all of Chicago is ready for a freak mayor. In fact, it's been rumored that there have been threats made on your life. True? Well, sadly, yes. But I'm not worried for my safety, Herb. I'm in the good hands of the Chicago PD. Keep an eye on Smith, Alex. Looks like we've got trouble. But, Dragon... Okay, John. Who are you? What are you doing back here? Getting a bagel, you fool. I may look like a ne'er-do-well, but I just play one on TV. I'm Lance Lamar, the actor. Actor? Now, if you don't mind, I need this for my next scene. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Nice going, partner. Don't you think you're getting a little carried away with this security detail? You're seeing bad guys behind every corner. Well, I may be overreacting, Alex, but for good reason. A lot of people don't want to see a freak running for mayor. In a city where everyone, black and white, human or freak, can live together. It's... Oh, how sickening. How dare this John Smith try to take power? How dare he? The nerve! The only freak who will ever rule Chicago is me. Not some human toadying lapdog. You're absolutely right, Overlord. And nobody likes a yes man. Yes, I agree. Your candidacy will be a short-lived one, Mr. John Smith. I've got a um, little surprise in store for you. <laughs> this way, John. <laughs> Is all this sneaking in and out through back doors really necessary, Dragon? Uh, uh, probably not, John, but it's better safe than sorry. That's my motto. Huh. And here I thought it was, I'll just crush whatever's in my way. <laughs> Wait here. Alex, I think we've been set up. I just had this thing waxed. Dragon? Please, no autographs. What was the problem back there? I'm not sure, John, but whatever it is, Dragon can handle it. Well, I certainly appreciate Dragon's concern, but I can't help feeling that some of it is in his head. I'm gonna pound that fin of yours right through your skull. <laughs> assignment was to take out Smith. I know, but Dragon was... He's a mere decoy, a diversion, allowing Smith to get away. I suggest you do not let that happen. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, looks like Bludgeon took a powder. I guess he couldn't handle the beating I was giving him. And when I got back to the TV studio, Smith was gone. <sighs> Lovely. Do you realize what your failure to destroy Smith will cost us? But, boss, I... Spare me your drivel. Because of you, super freaks will be under increased scrutiny. Getting to Smith will be nearly impossible. 
I happen to, um, sir, um... I take it you two have something to say. The octopus and I have come up with a rather unique plan. The one that would destroy both John Smith and Dragon in one fell swoop. I'm listening. It all starts with this. This just makes me want to puke. Smith rising in polls. What's this world coming to? I'll tell you what, no freak's ever going to be mayor of my town. Oh? So you're moving to another city? <laughs> <laughs> freak for mayor. What's next? The French poodle for governor? From where I sit, it's a pretty good bet that Overlord's people might attack Smith again. You better believe it, Frank. Overlord can't live with the thought of another freak becoming more powerful than him. And we'd better find out when and where he'll make his next attempt. Alex, you're gonna stay on Smith's security detail. Dragon, see what you can dig up. The green goat is in the hen house. He's headed for the nest. <gasps> oh, this is almost too easy. Okay, octopus old buddy, lead me to the big man himself. And now these two. Doesn't anybody stick around and fight anymore? And what is with the vampire bit? Marvelous. Stupendous. We've acquired a superb specimen of dragon's DNA. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Go away. I'm not finished yet. Hm. Touchy, aren't we? Now, to isolate a bit of cellular material. All right, dragon cells, do your stuff. Four, please. You know what? Something bizarre is definitely going on. You mean besides your appetite? You see this? You're not going to believe what happened to me. Now for the perfect melding of mechanical technology and bioengineering. <laughs> That's enough cooking time. It worked. He looks just like Dragon. Of course he looks like Dragon. That's what a clone is. A perfect replica. Hmm. Except this Dragon is completely under our control. Correction. Under my control. Uh, of course, Overlord. Uh, that's what I meant. With a little training, no one will be able to tell the difference between the real dragon and our new friend here. Which means you will have total access to John Smith, making him the perfect assassin. <laughs> Give that man a prize. Looking for somebody. <laughs> nice try, Sonny. But no brass ring. That's it. Enough. This guy is better than a real thing. Twice as good. Most impressive. This dragon clone has turned out even better than expected. There is only one thing left to complete the illusion. Uh, put these on. Slowly. Excellent. Third time this month. Is this 
is getting expensive. Is that the best you can do? Nighty night. We busted five of your freak buddies last night. Five! Oh yeah! Niceman, if brains were money, you'd be in bankruptcy court. <laughs> the Smith campaign is all over the city today. Lots of chances for Overlord's people to try something. Listen, maybe we should consider getting Smith to curtail his plans. Oh, well, that would be giving in to Overlord. Don't worry, Alex. We'll handle whatever they throw at us. So what happened last night, Dragon? You run into Overlord's gang? Nope. It was, uh, it was pretty quiet out there. <laughs> Dragon? What about Octopus and Open Face? What's that? They jumped him in an alleyway and zapped him in the neck with some weird gizmo. Oh, well, that, well, uh, that was nothing, Frank, really. Uh, come on, partner. Let's hit the streets. You feeling okay, Dragon? Never better. Why? Because back in Frank's office, you acted like you didn't remember your little run-in with open face and octopus. I just slipped my mind. Uh, must be my amnesia. Who are you trying to kid, Dragon? Your long-term memory may be fried, but your short-term is without equal. Well, I guess you're wrong about that. Hey, we're passing Murphy's Coney Island. Uh, what do you say we pick up a few specials to go, huh? If it's all the same to you, Alex... I think I'll pass. You've never turned down one of Murphy's chili cheese dogs before. Just not hungry, I guess. Pull the car over, Dragon. Sorry, Alex. I can't do that. Fine. Have it your way. You're not going anywhere. Dragon, what's wrong with you? What are you doing? Just making sure you stick by me, partner. You blew your cover. We can't waste any more time. Dispose of her. Anything you say. <laughs> now don't go anywhere. I'll be back after I take care of Smith. Alex. But I... You... <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth. I see you've met my clone. Clone? Yeah. That's why Open Face sat me with that gizmo to get some of my DNA to clone me. Don't get too close. These restraints are booby-trapped. The black box is a bomb. This is cute. Oh, it gets cuter. Overlord figured out how to put the perfect hitman inside the Smith campaign. Me! Only it isn't me! And Smith is giving his speech at the computer factory in 20 minutes. <laughs> What a wonderful turnout. <laughs> I guess you'll have your hands full with security, eh, Dragon? Oh, it shouldn't be much of a problem, sir. I've got it all worked out. This way, Mr. Smith, sir. Mr. Smith, sir? Why the sudden formality, Dragon? Oh, sorry, John. Why are we in here, Dragon? Shouldn't we be up on the stage already? I have... something to give you. Not here, you fool! I want to finish off on stage in front of the whole city. I want them to see you do it, so they think the dragon's a killer. Okay, I understand. You understand what? Uh, okay, I understand it's time for you to make your speech, John. Fine, let's go then. Oh, what was it you wanted to give me? Oh, it'll keep till later. Almost there, just a little more. Okay, don't move! Yes! If we make it out of here alive, I'm gonna need a good orthodontist. Okay, partner, your turn. Time to deactivate this bomb. Uh, right. Well, you did say you studied bomb deactivation at the police academy, so... Well, yeah, one class. Well, don't try to build up my confidence or anything. Wow, very clever. Oh, don't say that. I hate when I'm wearing a bomb and somebody says that. I don't think I can disarm this thing, Dragon. It's got 
trigger switch is wired everywhere. One false move and the... Powdered dragon. You know what's weird is that the detonator appears to be rigged with some sort of a delay. It's not so weird for a couple of fun-loving fiends like Open Face and Octopus. They probably want me to break free, think the bomb is a phony, and then boom! Ooh, the good news is, that gives us a little time to make a move. Very little, about five seconds. Oh, come on! Now that we've saved our own hides, we still gotta save John Smith. Oh, the factory he's giving his speech at is on the lake, isn't it? I'm way ahead of you, partner. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the next mayor of the great city of Chicago, John Smith! Jack! Hold on! He's right where we want him. Take him out. Uh, aren't you gonna stop? No time. Get Smith out of here. I'll take care of me. Him. The clone! This way, John! Hurry! I hate to mess up a face as handsome as yours, but you leave me no choice. Obsolete dragon. You're looking at the new, improved model. Oh, I don't know. It's kind of hard to improve on the original. And again, maybe it's all in the packaging. Chances for getting a date in this town just went down dramatically. Destroy him, then go finish off Smith. No. Hey, uh, you should really wear a support belt when lifting something that heavy, don't you? Hey. Okay, I'll give you that one. Needing any handcuffs for you, handsome. For the incompetent, ill-timed, poorly conceived plans, this was your worst ever. Silence! You'd better hope that the voters do the right thing, or I'll clone the two of you and dispose of the originals. Huh. Says that Smith only lost the election by about 5,000 votes. Yeah, ain't that a shame? Like I said, no freaks ever gonna be my mayor. I guess Chicago still isn't ready for a freak mayor. But at least this was a good first start at real cooperation between humans and freaks. Well, the way I see it, that started a long time ago. With you, the one and only, uncopyable, irreplaceable, Dragon. <sighs> You're only saying that because it's true. Thanks, partner. So, uh, how about we go and get us a few Murphy's Chili Cheese Dogs, huh? I hate chili cheese dogs, Alex. Joking. Bunny, sit down, Dragon. We have paperwork to do. Well, I thought you said we were... Dragon, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. Nobody eats chili cheese dogs this early. 